Sorry. I was hung up on a phone call with the mayor, then Tess pushed my deadline, but I know we said eight, so I'm... Right on time for you. Well, I bet even you couldn't run faster in these heels. I wouldn't look nearly as good. What do you say we take your shoes and my sport coat and go get a nice dinner? Smallville, you're not wearing a sport coat. Show off? Listen, why don't we get something to eat at the new place? You mean the place that requires reservation six months in advance? That's a nice thought, Romeo, but we will never get a table. We'll never know unless we ask, and I hope the answer is yes. You know what, even if we're lucky enough to snag a cancellation with the VRA's latest no-fun policy, we'll have to leave before dessert. Listen, we... We can't let a citywide curfew prevent us from having fun with the time we do have. I promise, even if I have to run to Madrid, I'll get you churros and hot chocolate for dessert. Why don't we just go home, skip right to the delicious donuts, and we can pretend for one night that the world hasn't gone totally crazy. The government has taken a tougher stance ever since they upgraded our status from vigilante to terrorist. The VRA is not just raining on the heroes' parade anymore. We are going to need an arc to survive this hate-filled flood. But unlike the rest of Metropolis, I haven't forgotten who the real heroes are. And there is one in particular that I would love to snuggle up with away from the searchlights. Yeah, we should probably uh, just go home. But wait a second. I think I hear a situation that needs saving. I'll be right back. Did you save the day? I don't know yet. Look up. You don't make it easy to ask a simple question. But that's what makes you, you. The woman I want to spend my life with. The woman that I love. Lois Lane, will you marry me? Yes.